my channel mostly focuses on content that is fashion, beauty, and sometimes sneaker related. Um, guys, please excuse my hair. I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but I got into another car accident a few days ago. Um, and my back and my neck is hurting, so I'm not able to take this down at this time. Uh, it's probably going to be another week or two before I'm able to do that. So bear with me. Um, anyway, today what I'm going to be doing is unboxing a pair of shoes. Um, these are a pair of Cool Kai, um, on film, on film, on film, something like that. Y'all know I'm not really good with pronunciations. Um, but I try my best. I'll look it up and correct myself later if I'm incorrect. Um, so anyway, he collab with this brand and I'm going to unbox this pair of shoes, um, which I'm really, really excited about. These released in February, but I have yet to unbox them. They came, um, within a week of me ordering them, but they've just been sitting in the closet, um, in my spare closet. I have not opened them yet. So I'm going to do that on camera for you guys now, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. This is probably not the best method to cut something open, but it works for me. Kinda. And this is what we have inside of the box. I didn't order these from Cool Kai's site. I ordered these directly from their um, site and came with a sticker take the box out and here we have it the box is so nice it's probably it might be upside down huh let me turn it around the box is so nice y'all like i just i love i'm a sucker for packaging i just love a nice packaging and here is the shoe Let me take this out so I don't rip up all the paper. And it has a dust bag inside, like always. This dust bag might be a little bit different than the other ones. I don't know. I have to compare. Or maybe I just haven't bought a pair in a while. I don't know. Here's the shoe. They went crazy on these. They went so crazy. see if there's anything else in this box nope all right so i'm about to turn it back around we're gonna talk about it okay so now that i've gotten a chance to unbox this shoe let's talk about it guys here are the shoes and this shoe is is perfect y'all these shoes are perfect so let's talk about some of the features of the shoe um it's corduroy typically um he had a lot of patent leather shoes and like traditional leather i don't know what you call that um but he's kind of been branching out to doing um corduroy print like this is not his first pair of corduroy shoes i don't believe but this is the pair that really did it for me this shoe is perfect the moment i saw this shoe i knew that i had to have this and i've been waiting for them to release and when they finally released i just had to have them um so let's talk about it so they come in a blue um a green pink and this cream colorway um the green is a really really the green the cream is a really really nice touch to the shoe it definitely adds um a whole nother um element to this shoe um it's definitely giving like easter vibes but not like ugly easter like dope easter but <laughs> there this is the tongue and it says on film and then there's the branding for their brand right here um which is also cool and inside the insole also has the branding and it's also corduroy um which is a nice little touch there's nothing on the um in this inner tab 
The sole says Reese like always. And we have the Reese right here in this cream color. Um, overall, this shoe is... I'm just in love with this shoe, guys. I don't, I don't really have very much to say about it. Um, as far as the quality goes... Um, okay. So, the, the quality of these shoes is improving. I will give him that. It's definitely improving. Uh, but this shoe is a little bit more defective than my shoes usually are from him um but it works in this case because of the type of the style of shoe that is it is this like fraying and stuff that i hope you guys i hope it's showing up on camera but like the fraying and stuff here it has a nice little touch to um this shoe being corduroy so i don't really mind it as much and he is a fairly new company um a small company um, compared to like Nike and big brands like that. Um, so you definitely, it's going to be a, uh, a learning process. It's going to take a while, but, um, I think that in time he will, he's going to give us perfect shoes. Like they're going to be perfect. No, um, no defects really are very minimal defects. Um, I just think that it's all a learning curve. So I don't really mind these little things. And also with big brands like Jordan brand and stuff, you also have like some defects on your shoes. It's very rare that you're going to get a shoe that's hundred percent perfect. Maybe not as many, um, not as many flaws as this. And there's like some glue right here that I'm going to have to, um, cut that off, but you're definitely going to get some defects on some of your shoes. Um, Every shoe is not perfect, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, it'll be all right. But there is some scuffing back here, which I don't know how that happened, but I, I'm going to try to wipe that off and see how that goes. Oh, it's scuffing on this too. I wonder if that's like some paint or what. I don't know. But anyway, we're not going to make a big deal. We're not going to talk about all of the flaws, um, but I am going to let you guys see them still, but we're not going to sit here and focus on it um but there's some minor flaws but like the things like the lightning bolts and stuff they're sewn down now so there's no lifting um which is really really appreciated and i'm going to put these shoes on um i have to lace them up by the way the laces come in this cream colorway which is matches um cream of the shoe and i really really like that and i also like that the sole of this shoe is green because there's like all this cream going on and then this green as a nice little contrast um and prevents the shoe from having a washed out look which i really really like and i like that he chose to do cream instead of white um because it's definitely something that is unique it's not something that i would have thought of but it adds a very very nice um touch to this shoe um and i'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys long because i know y'all don't really like to watch um uh, long videos but i will say that this for me is like the shoe of the year i love this shoe i am in love with this shoe um very very happy that i bought it please with my purchase and i know that i always say every time i open a pair of these shoes i always say this is my favorite pair it's my favorite pair but this one right here this takes the cake this is my all-time favorite pair of cool kai sneakers so far um i'm hoping that he doesn't come out with another pair that i love more than these and i'm forced to eat my words but he probably will because that man the way that man's mind work the way his mind works is just insane uh the concepts that he comes up with there's always something uh more creative more better than the last always pretty much always um and i can really appreciate that about him is that he has all these innovative ideas and he puts them into his shoes and so it's not really getting repetitive or boring or whatever. Um, this shoe was um, $300, $275 or $300. I'm not quite sure. Um, and if anybody has any questions, um, I know sometimes I get questions about how do you purchase these. Um, the best way is to follow his um, Instagram, his actual Instagram, not like a scam page. Um, and follow Kai Studios as well. You can also follow Reese Pierce and you get... Um, you get updates on when the shoes are going to release. Um, a lot of them are like shock drops or you're notified like the day of or whatever. Um, but you kind of get all the, turn on your post notifications and you'll never miss a shoe that, a pair that you want. Well, almost never miss a pair that you want because you might still miss um, sometimes. Um, but that is my best advice to anybody who is trying to purchase these and can't figure it out. Um, definitely don't buy from anybody in your dms or anything asking you to do that because he does not do that um purchases are made directly from the website um so yeah i will try to provide links below um to the websites that i know that he 
has and also to um his actual instagram pages and stuff so to help prevent you guys from um being scammed and that's just for anybody who is curious about um how do you go about purchasing these shoes um anyway i'm going to keep this short like i said um i hope that i've covered everything showed you every detail of this shoe um hopefully i did not miss anything i want to just flip them around one more time for you guys to get a full 360 at this shoe and like i said i am full, so in love with this shoe i'm going to lace them up and put them on my feet so you guys can see how do they look on feet um but i'm sure they're going to look even more dope than they already do with just being in my hand um i am overall very very pleased with this purchase um and if you're on the fence about if you should buy a pair definitely buy it um shipping is crazy fast now it's not like how it was when he was um just getting started um you're not going to wait months for your shoes they're usually out within a week um they get to you super fast um and yeah so i'm gonna leave that at this um if you have any questions for me comments whatever it is then don't be shy leave it down below um and yeah thank you guys for watching until next time bye and then there's the branding for their brand right here um uh, which is also cool And inside the insole also has the branded, and it's also corduroy, um, which is a nice little touch. There's nothing on the um, in this inner tab. The sole says Reeves like always, and we have the Reeves right here in this cream color. Um, overall, this shoe is I'm just in love with this shoe, guys. I don't, I don't really have very much to say about it. Um, as far as the quality goes, um okay so the the quality of these shoes is improving i will give him that it's definitely improving um uh, but this shoe is a little bit more defective than my shoes usually are from him um but it works in this case because of the type of the style of shoe that is it is this like fraying and stuff that i hope you guys i hope it's showing up on camera but like the fraying and stuff here it has a nice little touch to um, this shoe being corduroy, so I don't really mind it as much. And he is a fairly new company, um, a small company, um, compared to like Nike and big brands like that. Um, so you definitely, it's going to be a, a learning process. It's going to take a while, but um, I think that in time, he will, he's going to give us perfect shoes. Like they're going to be perfect. No, um, no defects really are very minimal defects um i just think that it's all a learning curve so i don't really mind these little things and also with big brands like jordan brand and stuff you also have like some defects on your shoes it's very rare that you're going to get a shoe that's 100 percent perfect maybe not as many um might not as many flaws as this and there's like some glue right here that i'm going to have to um cut that off but you're definitely going to get some defects on some of your shoes um Every shoe is not perfect, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, it'll be all right. But there is some scuffing back here, which I don't know how that happened, but I, I'm going to try to wipe that off and see how that goes. Oh, it's scuffing on this too. I wonder if that's like some paint or what. I don't know. But anyway, we're not going to make a big deal. We're not going to talk about all of the flaws, um, but I am going to let you guys see them still, but we're not going to sit here and focus on it um but there's some minor flaws but like the things like the lightning bolts and stuff they're sewn down now so there's no lifting um which is really really appreciated and i'm gonna put these shoes on um i have to lace them up by the way the laces come in this cream colorway which matches um cream of the shoe and i really really like that and i also like that the sole of this shoe is green because there's like all this cream going on and then this green as a nice little contrast um and it prevents the shoe from having a washed out look which i really really like and i like that he chose to do cream instead of white um because it's definitely something that is unique it's not something that i would have thought of but it adds a very very nice um touch to this shoe um and i'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys long because i know y'all don't really like to watch um uh, long videos but i will say that this for me is like the shoe of the year i love this shoe i am in love with this shoe um very very happy that i bought it pleased with my purchase and i know that i always say every time i open a pair of these shoes i always say this is my favorite pair it's my favorite pair but this one right here 
this takes the cake this is my all-time favorite pair of cool kai sneakers so far um i'm hoping that he doesn't come out with another pair that i love more than these and i'm forced to eat my words but he probably will because that man's the way that man's mind work the way his mind works is just insane uh the concepts that he comes up with there's always something um uh, more creative more better than the last always pretty much always um and i can really appreciate that about him is that he has all these innovative ideas and he puts them into his shoes and so it's not really getting repetitive or boring or whatever um this shoe was um 300 dollars 275 or 300 dollars i'm not quite sure um and if anybody has any questions um i know sometimes i get questions about how do you purchase these um the best way is to follow his um instagram his actual instagram not like a scam page um and follow kai studios as well you can also follow reese paris and you get um you get updates on when the shoes are going to release um a lot of them are like shock drops or you're notified like the day of or whatever um but you kind of get all the turn on your post notifications and you'll never miss a shoe that a pair that you want well almost never miss a pair that you want because you might still miss um sometimes um but that is my best advice to anybody who is trying to purchase these and can't figure it out um definitely don't buy from anybody in your dms or anything asking you to do that because he does not do that um purchases are made directly from the website um so yeah i will try to provide links below um to the websites that i know that he has and also to um his actual instagram pages and stuff so to help prevent you guys from um being scammed and that's just for anybody who is curious about um how do you go about purchasing these shoes um Anyway, I'm going to keep this short. Like I said, um, I hope that I've covered everything, showed you every detail of this shoe. Um, hopefully, I did not miss anything. I want to just flip them around one more time for you guys to get a full 360 of this shoe. And like I said, I am full, so in love with this shoe. I'm going to lace them up and put them on my feet so you guys can see how do they look on the feet. Um, but I'm sure they're going to look even more dope than they already do with just being in my hand. Um, I am overall very, very pleased with this purchase. Um, and if you're on the fence about if you should buy a pair, definitely buy it. Um, shipping is crazy fast now. It's not like how it was when he was um, just getting started. Um, you're not going to wait months for your shoes. They're usually out within a week. Um, they get to you super fast. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to leave that at this. Um, if you have any questions for me, comments, whatever it is, then don't be shy. Leave it down below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Bye. So as I previously stated, I've never really learned how to properly lace my shoes. That's something my brother has always done. But since he no longer lives with me, um, I've been forced to have to do that myself. So don't really focus on the poor lacing job. We're just here to look at the shoe.